Hi, today I'm gonna introduce you to Linux, explain to you what the word Linux means and what are distributions. So what is Linux? Linux is in reality the kernel of many operating systems. But a lot of people are calling all those operating systems Linux. And all those operating systems have many similarities. Of course, one of these similarities is they all have the same kernel. The kernel is the part of the operating systems which links the hardware with the operating system. It manages things like allowing memory usage, CPU time, motherboard control. Everything else around the, the kernel is not really Linux. This software can change depending on which version of Linux you are using. A lot of the key parts in the system is provided by the GNU project. And that's why all the similar OS should be called GNU Linux distributions. Another similarity is the console, which c also can be called terminal or shell. This is an interface to fully control your computer just by typing commands and reading what the output is. This is something very important for most Linux users, but you do not need to know how to use it to use a Linux running PC. You can access the terminal two ways. Either you can enter the full screen terminal or you can also just open a window with the terminal emulator. There is also other similarities like all the files are organized pretty much the same way. There is also a very strong community for all distributions. The software is in most of the time compatible and the file system keeps the same. EXT4 for the lastest version. Each of these operating system with similarities is called distribution. There is at the moment 278 active distribution in the DistroRatch database. Here are seven of the most important Linux distributions. The first one is Debian. It can run both on desktop and servers and it's known to be very stable and community driven. Next one is Red Hat. It is a very important server distribution and optimized for that use. Third one is Ubuntu. It is a distribution that is very important. It's known to be very easy to use for beginners and user friendly on desktop and it's known to be innovative on server. Linux Mint is also easy to use on desktop. It is a very good alternative to Ubuntu. SUSE is another one of the very big companies that takes care of Linux server. Then Arc Linux it is very hard to set up and configure but it is much more powerful as well. Last one is Fedora. It is known to be innovative and can run both on servers and desktop. There is also distribution for specific usage. Like for example Handy Linux that helps disabled people to use a computer. There is also Puppy Linux that is designed to be a fast and small operating system. Ubuntu Studio is designed for media creation. SteamOS is for gaming. Kali Linux is distribution for ethical hacking. And then Kodi can help build a media center or smart TV. This is the end of this video. In my next video, I will be talking about the recommended beginner desktop Linux distributions. Thank you for watching and see you later.